Hi tea friends, how's everybody doing today? Oh, so much has happened. Um, I have a David's tea order um, to share with you guys. Um, I've been like not making new videos. It's been a long time. I've been just posting old videos that I have. But I am going to make like an update, tell you guys everything that is going on. Um, I don't know if you notice my voice is not quite nice. Um, I have COVID. Um, I just came back from vacation. Um, my husband and I went to Disney. The parks were crowded. I will make a vlog um, telling you guys everything, um, giving you guys tips about the trips and everything like that is to come um trying to get my energy back i am doing well um i had a lot of symptoms like very strong flu like symptoms but i'm in the tail end of things now my husband is already better he already tested even negative um i tested him today and he was like negative but i still have all the symptoms um but i feel much better um cannot taste or smell anything so i have a review to make that is waiting right now for a tea that I, but i can't taste or smell it so it's gonna take a while but i'm getting better which is good so i placed an order with david's teas um to get some of the staples not well, some of the staples i'm not even i need a cold 911 <laughs> because since i got um today is saturday and i tested positive on tuesday and from tuesday until yesterday my symptoms were like really beating me up so i was surviving on cold 911 with honey and that tea oh, it hits you well like in it's just it's so good and um i went out so i was like no i need this tea so I placed an order for more code 911 and some and I think another tea that my husband likes and one more for me to try. But I have another order coming from Harneys and Sons pretty soon with teas for me to review for you guys. And then I have a fava tea for me to review for you guys. I have a lot going on and I want to make a sit down video about my trip to Disney so I can share with you all my tips and everything that happened on the trip. I did not make any vlogs or videos while I was there. I just wanted to enjoy myself. But I can do a sit down and really talk to you guys. Uh, the tea menu, I didn't know that they were sending this. But um, they added this to my order for free. They didn't charge. But it's talk about all their teas. And very nice. I'm going to read this. I love to read this kind of stuff. Well, my voice is awful. So here is the cold 911. I got a whole 75 sachets of it. Um, I hope other sachets are the good ones, the ones that doesn't get you sick for drinking. But especially when you have COVID and you don't have energy, you're not like feeling like brewing anything. You're just gonna toss the sachet in a cup with some honey. But, wow, well, 75, that is a lot. It's huge. It's bigger than my head. But I'll make a cup of it right now so I can feel better. And that was it. No. There's no samples or anything like that. Um, so I got the two things of Super Ginger because my husband loves this tea. When he feels unwell, he, he drinks that a lot as well. And ginger does help with cold flu like symptoms covid um so that is good too and he actually saw this on the website um and asked me to get it um i never tried this one before is um ginger honey so it's ginger crystallized ginger with sugar mm, not a fan of it lemongrass honey ginger crystals with more sugar Natural sweet the ginger flavor. It contains sulfates. Um, I don't know what to expect. Um, can't smell anything. Okay. 
The only thing that really bothers me is the fact that this tea is full of sugar. And I try to take sugar out of my diet, natural flavorings and things like that. Like a cold 911, this tea is organic. So that is good and super ginger is organic so lately i'm trying to have if you saw my last video i'm trying to cut all of those flavorings out of my daily routine not that i don't have it anymore but i'm trying to minimize like today for example i was feeling like having the um melbourne breakfast by tea too and that tea is natural flavor of vanilla in other things i don't know so i still have it but it's not on a daily basis and i try to be more only organic or like just plain and black tea um that's what i've been doing the order from harneys and sons i think is just plain black tea that is coming three different ones one that i already have in my collection that i'm just uh buying again and the two other that is just new and i'm gonna try so that's pretty much it. I do want to make a video with updates for the channel. Um, as far as the tea goes, um, I don't, I don't know yet um, what is going to happen. Um, but I'm not buying a lot either, so it's going to be hard to produce new videos. If I don't have all the new videos to try, I stopped my subscribe subscription. I do, I didn't cancel, I just placed a hold and I'm still thinking if I want to continue or not. That's, that subscription is amazing. I really love it. It's just that as I'm not drink as much, um, it's hard to adjust, uh, justify the cost. Um, but um you know i drink tea every day don't get me wrong this is still part of my routine it's just i'm a more to the boring bland stuff that doesn't have all these nice flavorings and fun because i i used to like place orders with david's teas regularly like monthly i was like doing two to three orders and trying every single new tea that they bring up and um right now i'm just not in the vibe anymore you know um <laughs> that might change i don't know you go through you know things in life i don't know and you change um i still love all those teas it's just that uh, natural flavorings were making me sick and i'm not talking just about tea i'm talking about the diet in general i have changed a lot um i lost a lot of weight already i know you can't tell because i have like way too many clothes right now because i need to be cozy because you feel sick but you know i i'm more like eating more of um homemade organic natural situations instead of buying things with a lot of flavors natural flavors sugars colors and um I, i'm trying to reduce that from my life um which is so hard um because everything nowadays is so industrialized and it makes everything very hard but I'm only doing that for myself. My husband is did not join the healthy bandwagon, <laughs> um, and that is fine. Um, it's just that I did have a lot of digestive issues um, in the end of last year, and I got much better since changing my diet. And then I went on vacation, and on vacation I was not you know, following any of that because you're at Walt Disney World, you're not eating healthy. As much as I tried, um, you're not. You're eating the popcorns and the candies and, you know, I I still followed uh, a gluten-free diet when I was there, which is amazing. In my vlog that I'm going to make about my Disney trip, I'll tell all about how to be safe and still with a... Um, 
with a gluten intolerance how to be safe there because it was amazing i did not get sick at all disney has a very good um you know they they're very good with special diets so they were able to accommodate everything so in a sense i was able to eat cake and i was able to eat everything that i want to and not feel sick so you know <laughs> I still didn't have that healthy of a diet, but I'm back to it now that I'm home. And um, we got back Sunday from vacation. Today's Saturday. We got back Sunday and we're fine. We're just like, we wore masks in plane to go and to come back, but still we were fine. And um, our our flight was very early in the morning. So we were, we, were, we came back home during the morning time and um by the afternoon that day my husband would start to develop symptoms and he was like yeah i don't feel good and i was like ah you just lying you don't want to help me unpack and do all the stuff right but you no know, he started getting sick and i had a test so i test him and it was positive and i was like wow um then that was sunday and then on tuesday i tested positive uh, we left now. Not fun, not fun, but not fun. On my um, on my Disney vlog, I will talk about that too, because you know, we got it there. <laughs> Where, what day? I don't know. The parks were so crowded, so crowded. Like to go to some of the rides, like three hours of waiting in line. Ugh. But it was still a dream trip and it was fantastic and I love that place with all my heart. Just that I wish that if people feel sick and stuff, they would not travel, but they still are. And and then what happens is you are giving to other people when you are sick and you travel, but you know, can't help it, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I already rambled way too much. This video was just supposed to be me opening David Steve's box. Um, but I will make the video about the trip. If you guys have any questions about the Disney and stuff like that, just leave a leave questions below in comments because I am going to plan making this video either tomorrow or soon, and uh, so I can give you all of the tips from my trip and all about COVID too. <laughs> And uh, there is more tea to come because I'm still waiting for my harness and sons order to arrive. And as soon as my taste is back, I will review. Um, I will review ginger honey as soon as I can taste. And I'm also gonna review fava tea. They sent me a new tea to try. Orange spritzer. My husband took a sniff and he said it smells very good. He has his taste and smell back. I don't. <laughs> so as soon as soon as those are back, those are the reviews to come. And then I have to think what's next. And I'll be updating you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you guys have questions about Disney or anything, Orlando area, because I went to all the parks, including Universal, just let me know in the comments below or reach out via face, um, not Facebook, um, Instagram, tis by Danny1800. And I also made a new Instagram just for Disney, which is Danny Disney Lifestyle. Um, I took so many pictures and I just gonna post all there. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you guys soon. Bye.